we all know the standoffs between pro-lifers and pro-choicers have never been stronger than now. With Roe v. Wade and its implications, more and more states are turning to the former for their policies. Just this Monday, North Dakota has joined ranks in adopting one of the strictest anti-abortion laws in the U.S. Under the new legislation, abortion is banned throughout the entire pregnancy unless exempted in a medical emergency, rape or incest cases. The latest ruling goes beyond its previous law, one that is currently being challenged in court, allowing abortion only up to six weeks. The government aims to take the position that their state is one that stands firmly by its pro-life philosophy. Republican Senator Yana Myrdal of Edinburgh, the bill's sponsor, expressed her approval of the state's decision, while Democratic Rep. Liz Conmey defends the choice of women to be able to make their own decisions when it comes to their health. Though there is no longer any clinic in the state to offer surrounding women the right to choose, the Red River Women's Clinic, formerly located in Fargo, is now just a short distance away in Moorhead, Minnesota. It is still going strong and advocates for the thousands of women across North Dakota for the protection of their constitutional right. Legal challenges are expected to arise from the new ban, including the lawsuit from Red River Women's Clinic aimed to challenge the constitutionality of the state's previous abortion ban. As the law just takes effect, today, we're still seeing it from both sides, the battle fighting for and against abortion rights going stronger each and every day. What is the bottom line? Are people in favor of the anti-abortion policies? Should women really not have the right to control their own bodies? As these questions come up more and more often, it is with our utmost priority to make sure that each individual voice is heard and taken into consideration.